Success, we have hot water, it's working. Let's see how I did it. The issue I have with my pipe, this long 25 meter green pipe, is that it's got an airlock, um, similar to the other day really, and there's no easy way of getting it out. Um, okay, so one way to force the airlock out of this, I think, is to use the pressure from here push the water back around this whole system and hopefully we'll see water coming from here. Once we see that, we know that there's water all the way through this system and the air is out. And then we can then pick this up. So let's let's see this creates an absolute mess though. We just, it's all finished, that's filled up. As I finished filling that up, it um, you heard some air coming out of it, which is great out of the pipes, which is fantastic, which is what we want. So, it's good to go, but we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow because it's starting to rain, and it's probably gonna rain the rest of the day, so. Successful, I think. Okay, so, um, rain stopped, it's the next day, and, I've been talking with a, a plumber friend and he's pointed out quite quite um, sensibly that this coil is too long. Um, ideally you want it to be as short as possible, but because the way I'm trying to set this up, I want it to be as long as possible, so there's got to be a balance. So this is currently, well now probably just under 25 metres, 20, 24 ish metres. So I'm going to cut it in half and see if I can get that to work. So I'm rethinking the kind of the design, the, the finer details of the um, of the stove. So what we have at the moment is we have our the air gets drawn through here, through the fire, comes out here. What we need is we need a grill, and I've got a grill here. So what I might do is take this all apart, put the grill at the bottom, and then take the half the front of this off, so then we can have a an air an, uh, air intake at the bottom and the wood input up here and then it will be hopefully burned cleaner because I think that's the issue at the moment 
we're not burning clean enough. So let's have a play with that. I'm not sure if it, um, I've actually been filming now while I've been doing this. Um, but essentially you put this grill upside down, laid some bricks underneath to form the channel there, filled the gaps with sand, then done the same on top here, filled the gaps with sand, got these pavers around the edge now to make it nice and square, not just the uh, the rubble. And then what we're going to do is we're going to lay this on top of this again and then just cut the front off here um, where the, the wood's going to go in. So yeah. Okay, so the change of design of the two grills here and here with essentially it's two layers of bricks, air intake here, wood goes here, smoke goes up there. And heat. Take the gloves off and just set this. Okay. It's almost going as we want them to quite roaring yet. He's working a lot better in terms of the draw. Okay, there's no smoke coming out this way, it's just coming up here now, which is fine. You can hear the rocket. tell but the light is going end of the day it's been a really nice day um, so I tried with the half length the half of the 25 so what 17, 12 and a half um, that didn't work what I've done now is I've gone down to probably a three meter length and we're getting heat all the way up to here the fire's not burning as much as it could be at the moment, but I think we're going to keep this going. All this burn through all this wood and see if we can get this barrel up to a decent temperature. Okay, so it's the next morning, as you might be able to tell. I only got too dark to film last night, but our tank got nice and warm. Um, didn't get hot, just got warm. I think we have, we're not getting the actual water hot enough here. So it's actually losing most of the heat by the time it gets up there. But we still got some warmth, so that's good. We've got it working, which is great. We can just tweak it now. Um, yeah, that's it for this video. Um, it's obviously the day before Christmas Eve, so hope everyone has a, a very Merry Christmas. I know it's been a, a strange year, but thank you very much for taking the time to watch my videos. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, please do below, and um, we'll see you after Christmas. Bye!